The state of Kansas has announced that they are going to be seeking the death penalty against Glenn Miller, who is accused of having killed three people at a Jewish community center in April of this year. Now, you may remember the huge media explosion that happened involving our program because I interviewed Glenn Miller back in 2010. And at the time, he said he hated Jews and he hated black people and he hated me personally, et cetera, et cetera. And then he ended up being the man arrested for and accused and soon to be tried for the killing of these three individuals who, while he was trying to kill Jews, by mere coincidence, he did not kill any Jews. Uh, and people have been e emailing me saying, David, you know, you're against the death penalty. Um, is this a case where you had personal contact with this man? This is a man who likely would have wanted to see uh, you killed at that Jewish community center if he had seen you there. And by chance, he ended up killing three people who aren't Jewish. Would you want the death penalty for him? And I say no. I say no, because while all the evidence points to the, him being guilty of an absolutely heinous, depraved act, I don't want to see the state be in the business of putting this man to death and saying, we're going to do the same thing to you that you and your depraved state did to these other people. Now, of course, if he is found guilty, it would not be the putting to death of an innocent, but rather of a guilty person. But really, to me, I don't want to see Glenn Miller just have the lights turned off and that's it. He if he did indeed commit this crime and we will have a trial to determine whether that took place and he is indeed guilty, he should sit in prison for the rest of his life, knowing he will never get out, knowing he will never do anything else. And you know what? If it turns out that he is one of the 25 on death row that were wrongly uh, uh, wrongly convicted, then at least we have the chance of making that right, which goes away once you execute someone. Um, indeed, we have uh, we had I had an email exchange with Glenn Miller not that long before the alleged crime took place that has been turned over to the FBI. And a few people emailed and asked if we had heard from the FBI at all as the case gets ready to go forward. We haven't. They, you know, have acknowledged receipt of those documents, which were uh, we had already kind of made them publicly available anyway. And I have no idea whatsoever whether there will be any presentation of that exchange that we had with him, which was relatively unremarkable in the grand scheme of things. So, uh, no, I don't support the death penalty, period. So, of course, that has to apply to this particular circumstance as well. We will ultimately see what happens in the uh, trial of Glenn Miller for the killing of those three individuals.